Hi to all. Today's topic is self inductance of solenoid. I am going to explain the self inductance of solenoid and how to derive the self inductance of solenoid formula and what factors the self inductance depends. These are things we are going to discuss today. Right. First of all, this is a solenoid. Solenoid is nothing but this is a coil. Right. <coughs> An insulated copper wire wound over a cylinder. This is called as a solenoid. Let us take the small l is the length of the solenoid. Capital A is the area of cross section of solenoid. And capital L is the self inductance. And I is the current at any instant. Then here capital N total number of turns. Small l length of solenoid. A is the area of cross section of solenoid. And small n is the number of turns per unit length. Then I want to derive the self inductance of solenoid. What is self inductance? Induction of current in a coil, induction of current or EMF in a coil due to varying current in it. In this, if the current varies, then in this EMF induces that is called as self induction. Let us see here magnetic flux link with the solenoid I want. Magnetic flux link with n tons of solenoid. Yes, with n tons of solenoid. Magnetic flux link with each turn of solenoid due to the passage of current uh, it will act as a magnet it can generate the magnetic field and flux that flux link with one turn is phi flux link with n turns is the n phi that's formula is capital L into I that we know already previously what is phi in this the magnetic flux link with the magnetic flux link with each turn right magnetic flux link with uh, each turn of solenoid right each turn of solenoid is a phi that formula is phi is equal to b a cos theta phi is equal to b a cos theta we know magnetic flux link with each turn okay and here what is b and a field is along the axis of the solenoid right you know according to um, right hand thumb rule Field is along the axis and uh, area vector is also along the axis. Then we write uh, B A cos 0 because uh, B parallel to A. Right? Okay. Then here we will get the flux formula is B A only. Right? This we substitute in above equation. Then if you substitute uh, that one uh, phi is equal to B A in above equation that is N phi is equal to L I. Then what you will get? Okay, this we can take as 1 and this we can take as 2. Then we write here that is equation 2 substituted in 1. Equation 2 substituted in equation 1. Then we will get as NBA is equal to, okay, we write phi BA that is Li. But what is B here? Magnetic induction on the axis of the solenoid. But we know magnetic induction, right? We write the formula for the magnetic induction on the axis of the solenoid, right? We know already formula nu naught ni, right? Nu naught ni. This we substitute in it here. Nu naught ni into capital A is equal to li. This i i gets cancelled. Then the remaining first nu naught we write. Then this is capital N we write. And this is a small n we write. And this is A. This is capital L. I will write this one like this. The capital N is equal to mu naught capital N small n a but here one thing we write uh, that is uh, but we know small n is equal to capital N by L from this we write capital N formula is small n L and this you substitute in above equation then we will get as mu naught capital N is a small n L into N a then the final formula we will get the for the self inductance that is a mu naught N square N into N N square a L this is the final formula for the magnetic induction on the axis of the solenoid. On what factors the magnetic induction depends? Self inductance, sorry, magnetic induction. It is not magnetic induction, it is a self induction. Self inductance of solenoid formula is mu naught n square al. This is the final formula. And in this one thing you see that is uh, this we formula we derived when the solenoid, inside the solenoid there is a vacuum or free space. Okay. 
and on what factors the field depends okay if you write this small n as uh, in place of capital n small n into l you form you will get this formula if you change this to small n as capital n by l the above formula we can also get like this right we can write like this mu naught you substitute small n as capital n by l capital n square by l square this l l will cancel don't be confused with the two l's and one l indicates one l small l indicates right look at here the small l indicates this we can take as the equation 3 and this we can take as equation 4 small l indicates the length of the solenoid and capital l indicates the self inductance on what factors the self inductance is here uh, the self inductance mu naught is the permeability of free space the on what factors the self inductance depends and if the space between the inside the solenoid if something we can fill okay if your solenoid if the solenoid filled with a material okay previously the fill, solenoid is empty but if the solenoid is filled with a material whose uh, whose relative permeability is mu r relative permeability is mu r then self inductance what happens to the self inductance formula right something soft iron or something we are inserting inside this for example this is a soft iron it's a soft iron with the relative permeability mu r and over this we are wounding one wire like this right then what happens to the inductance then l is equal to what happens in this case the l formula is mu instead of mu naught free space is there here it is free space is there free space or air and now we are filling with the soft iron whose relative permeability is mu r in this case the self inductance will become like this mu r instead of mu naught we have to take the mu that is mu n square al we will get this we can also write as mu r into mu naught n square al that means what happens the self inductance becomes mu r times this is equation 5 right what are the factors on which the self inductance depends the self inductance depends upon the medium right in which uh, the solenoid is filled the solenoid is uh, filled with certain medium okay and then next one is uh, the solenoid depends upon the number of turns per unit length area right these are the factors on which uh, the solenoid depends and this is very important for the three mass and practice properly this is the very important topic and very easy also derivation right whatever that is appearing on the board and itself three mass cbsc question and very important they will ask to derive the self inductance formula and they will also tell if if the uh, solenoid is filled with a medium right whose direct, whose relative permeability is mu r then what happens to the self inductance it will become mu r times previously mu naught n square al now the mu r into mu naught n square because mu is the permeability of medium its formula is mu r into mu naught okay if you can write the below this you can write two terms what is mu r what is mu it is the permeability of medium what is mu r relative permeability of medium and what is mu naught permeability of free space right okay thank you for watching my lecture